bike chores are finally done, and by taking a break, you better believe her, I'm going to sit right here and watch JC's Outdoor Fever. Today's episode, uh, I'm going to show you our little rocker box that we made out of an old Keen sluice. That's a 52 inch. Um, it was a little too big for what we wanted, so we decided to make uh, a rocker box. I'll go a little bit more detail here what we got going on. I'll show you how it works. Um, there's a, a bilge pump, which I, I have a leak in it right now, so it's not, it's not sucking very much water. It takes, it takes a little bit to get going. I'll uh, throw some material in here. Just because. Normally, uh, when that's working properly, it, uh, it really dumps a lot of water out of the holes. And then all I have to do is just move stuff around. Got some leaves and pine needles in there. Not a lot of rocks in that scoop. I got. I'm using a quarter-inch screen. Um, I guess we can go. You know, we can go smaller. See. That's right. Um, anyways. You can leave the screen in and keep rocking it. I have a, a little catcher up here on the top. I don't have it le really level. Usually I, I have it on a dolly, so we can get strapped to a dolly, and the wheels are at that end, and the handle is this end, and we can adjust it with some rocks. All right, so on down and see how it's working. A lot of the water is going over to the one side right now, but if I were to level this out a little bit more and let the, and the suction was working better, uh, we would start a little sooner and then it would get all the matting there. And you can see it, uh, just got some green carpeting that was originally in the sluice. It is gathering, most of it is gathering on that side. That's most of the water is coming out on that side, so you can adjust the box downwards a little bit to get the, the box to fall a little even more evenly so that's basically how that works and then when you're done you can pull that out this is where this uh, sets on it's on a slant and then uh, all the stuff right here, I, there's a little bit opening in there, but most of the stuff doesn't go into the carpet. It falls falls in there, and you can adjust your carpet all the way back if you want. Or different, whatever you like. It seems to work pretty good there. And then you can empty this out into a bucket. This should capture any of the, the gold. So, we just bent the sluice box around, and we put it... <coughs> We put a couple of screws, bolts back here. That worked out pretty good. Let me show you what this looks like. And then um, we made a couple of brackets for our little bilge pump to set on. And this is a Grizzly no, Guzzler. Guzzler, I think it's the 400. There's a 400 or 450 and 500. It's been, it's been a couple years since I. I messed with it so um anyways um we got a little pin here what we can do is you can pull this pin out and you can adjust it in these little holes so you can get your sluice box up and down that way but it's so much easier just to use um a rocks or whatever's handy and uh and get it to a certain um, degree of that you would like and i got to, also i got one in the front this one here does the same thing 
And what that one does in the front is you unhook the pin there, pull it out, and I got a washer here. And once you pull that out, you can pull, take your carpet down and put it in a bucket and wash that. And this is pretty standard, straightforward PVC pipe suction in there. Pretty good. And then all we had to do, some leaves and stuff in there. Let's just drill some holes in there. Um, looks like a few of them, since I pulled it out, moved a little bit. Got to readjust it so it squirts a little bit better. So that's probably the reason why it's not squirting as good on this side of the box. Got to line that up a little bit better, which is no big deal. Probably have to get something to pull that out a little bit. And you can adjust this right here. I mean, I'm not going to reef out now, but you can adjust it in and out to get the water to squirt a certain spot. But mainly you want it this over this way so it starts squirting a little sooner. Otherwise, most of your water goes off the side of the bucket. Um, little holes here to the top. And then you got a hose down here. And this goes down to... check valve that's in here and I just put some window screen so I get you know, a couple holes and stuff in there um, it needs to be repaired but I don't use this very much anymore and that works really good and this will pull uh, quite a bit of holes there I don't know much further you can go but uh, that's quite a bit there and it goes up there no problem and you, you can work that pretty fast. You can move a lot of a lot of dirt. You can take that anywhere. So this uh, the handle here. It took a little bit of figuring out the how long to get this handle. If we're gonna use it out here, that didn't work so good. Um, and then also getting this to keep it from. Um, Binding up and locking up. That was a little fun. So we just bend in this handle, mounting it to the side of the box here, and that seemed to be the, the best way of doing it. That way the structure is right to the box versus out here. And there was a lot of, when you get a lot of weight in there, um, there was too much pressure on this pin here, right here, and this bolt, all this stuff right here. We had to replace this one and this one here, I think is the original, but it does wear out this plastic after a while. I've been, I've been going three seasons on it, and uh, we had to replace that one bulb. But otherwise, if you don't have that somewhat figured out and secure, you can easily grind on this. It, it is wearing out pretty good, and it's getting sloppy. It's not as tight as it used to be. So, because you're on an angle this way or that way, going back and forth. That's why we put the handle here, just because when you when you got all the force on here, you can really wear out those parts. It's a little, it's a little free uh, flowing now. And it just goes back and forth. Sucks the water up, and then pushes it out. Each movement. You can see you get some, you get some water flowing there, but if it wasn't losing suction there, you can see how much water comes out. The faster you go, the more water that box right on out all right i uh, hope you enjoyed that uh, segment of jc outdoor fever i know i had a lot of people um by just looking at the picture wanted to know how it worked so i so you know, i i, I got to make a video on this and it's a pretty neat contraption it took a lot of uh trial and error but um it's it's uh worked well for us it's not too heavy and uh, PVC pipe would have been probably the idea but um, this is what we had laying around and it just was a prototype and we just kind of left it so if we were gonna do another one we could probably do something out of PVC pipe a little bit sturdier maybe a few metal braces um, but maybe somebody else could take this video look at it the concept and perfect it a little bit better so all right until next time thanks for watching Thanks for watching JC Outdoor Fever. Please subscribe. Be sure to check out our Facebook page for exclusive content.
Alright, I wanna go fishing. I'm going fishing.